Starbucks is a union busting company and they're going to get more hostile uh, as unionization continues to spread. Now, the good news is that more than 100 Starbucks have unionized since the first store unionized last year, and I believe November or December. But we're to the situation now where they are absolutely desperate. Um, and so let's let's hear from Katie McCoy, who's a Starbucks employee. So today I was suspended without pay indefinitely, aka soon to be fired after organizing a union in my store. I was cornered in the back room by my manager and felt unsafe after weeks of targeting and emotions being high. So I recorded the audio. Starbucks, you are disgusting. This right here is illegal. You can't do that. You can't do that. But you see, these companies, they don't care because, you know, what's 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 going to happen? Slap on the wrist. You pay a fine. Paying that fine by firing employees that are trying to unionize is much preferable for these large multi-billion dollar companies than seeing widespread unionization. So that's why they do things like this. Now, um, she spoke out in an interview with uh, Jordan Sheridan, the status quo. And I want to watch this because I think that these stories are really important run a two floor me and another co-worker who was almost nine months pregnant at the time um and or, um and during that time we were without a store manager and immediately the day after our strike we received a store manager um super convenient <laughs> and um basically from that point on um we noticed corporate we we noticed dress codes um they really really heavily intensely like enforce dress code now let me just pause it right here they're doing these things because they're trying to find some reason to fire these employees because if you just fire them because they're unionizing obviously that's in violation of the law so they try to enact this draconian authoritarian environment where if anything is wrong if your employee doesn't tuck in their shirt or they don't you know um wear the correct type of shoes then they'll try to fire them for that in lieu of firing them for unionizing so they try to find some reason to fuck you up or some reason to get you and really what they'll do in addition to this is they'll cut your they'll uh, cut your hours so that way hopefully you quit squeeze you out so that way they don't have to fire you don't have to deal with the fine but if they need to they will do that because yeah as a uh, as a uh, who was it that said that x that i said it's the cost of doing business that's exactly right um write-ups obviously um targeting was really really bad in our store um they dress coded one of our deaf and unhoused partner for attendance um even though he like doesn't have a home and was living out of his car. Um, they're just extremely ruthless and do not care. They will write up anyone over anything just in hopes to sway the vote, to get people to quit so they can hire new people to sway the vote. They are desperate to try to interfere with our vote in any way. Yeah. It's the same story. We've seen it time and again. Um, and then there's this. My trans friend just had their gender affirming healthcare threatened by a district manager if they supported unionization. You can't claim to be pro queer and use the threat of removing gender care as a weapon. So look at what Mars is responding to here. Starbucks coffee. This is the official Starbucks account. When we're recognized and accepted for who we are, our communities are stronger for it. During Pride Month, we're joining our LGBTQIA2 partners, employees, and supporting trans equality who advocate for the acceptance and understanding of transgender people. Hashtag pride. Yeah, but yet you are threatening to take away health care from your trans employees. Let me be very, very clear. Gender affirming care is health care. It is medically necessary. And um, if you're taking away your employees' health care by, you know, uh, trying to fuck them over because they're wanting to unionize, totally unacceptable, completely illegal. But yet, these same motherfuckers have the audacity to tweet this. This is why it's so frustrating when you see all these companies virtue signal about shit like this, right? Because on one hand, you want to see them change their icons to a rainbow flag because we want to normalize homosexuality and queerness. But you know that these aren't 
our allies. They're not even our frenemies. They're fucking us over, donating to politicians who take our rights away. So, you know, this is why I always have a bittersweet taste in my mouth when I see things like this. Because, yeah, I want this message to be put out there. I want people to see this. But at the same time, look at what they're doing. Taking away health care from your employees. Absolutely insane. Yeah, it is for show. You know, they want queer people to buy their products. They want queer people to get their coffee. If there is a store that's unionizing near you, I would absolutely recommend you support those employees. Do not shop there. 